Hi, I'm Mark Major, the Executive Director of C29 Metals, a junior exploration company headquartered in Perth, Western Australia. C29 made its debut as a public company on the Australian Security Exchange in November 2021, primarily focusing on battery metals associated with a future electrified world. We recently announced the signing of an option agreement to acquire 80% of two lithium brine exploration licenses located within the world-renowned Lithium Triangle of South America. These two projects lie within the Salar de Poquitos in Salta Province, Argentina, an area only recently gaining exploration attention by lithium explorers. We have now entered the due diligence period, which allows a company to expand on the initial exploration undertaken and for C29 to complete an independent due diligence to assess the viability of the projects within the tenement package. The area is highly prospective given its location, however, has had very little exploration when compared to other more extensive salars in the district. The major benefit here is that this type of mining is as simple as it comes. We extract the brines from the aquifer within the salars and pump it to a processing facility, which will be built close by. The brine passes through the direct lithium extraction plant, or DLE, where the lithium is recovered and from the brine waters and the resulting brine is then returned to the salar. I guess it's not really mining, but more about water treatment. A process has been proven to work on these brines is called Ecosol. To explain how this works, I would like to introduce Dr Mumford from Melbourne University as a key member of the Ecosol group. Hi, I'm Catherine Mumford currently an Associate Professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering at the University of Melbourne. I'm also the co-developer of the EcoSolve process. EcoSolve targets the direct extraction of lithium from Salt Lake brines. It has been specifically designed to preferentially target lithium in brines containing high concentrations of magnesium, calcium and potassium that typically hamper the performance of extraction processes. Depending upon the number of extraction stages used, Yields in the vicinity of 97% and lithium purities over 99% can be achieved. It also implements high efficiency pulsed extraction columns to reduce plant footprint and increase plant throughput. In this process, the brine is contacted with the organic solvent in the solvent extraction column. Here, lithium transfers from the aqueous to the organic phase with small concentrations of impurities. The lithium loaded organic phase then enters a separate contactor where it is washed and the impurities are removed from the solvent. Following this, the solvent enters the stripper, where the lithium is stripped from the organic into the aqueous phase. From this aqueous phase, the high purity lithium product may be crystallised. The lithium depleted solvent then moves into separate equipment items, where it is reconditioned to an optimal state before re-entering the extraction columns. Throughout the process, the conditioning fluids are recycled so that waste is minimised. So you can see, the processing via this DLE system has some key advantages for the company. We don't need large masses of land for evaporation ponds, and we get a refined high purity lithium product straight up. We expect it to be low capital and operational costs, and it is one of the most environmentally friendly methods for sourcing lithium known. Therefore, major ESG credits. Going forward, our team and the consultants are heading into the field to commence initial drilling work in December. Over the course of the DD period, we intend to drill test the prospective areas, test the aquifer's properties and refine a resource. We will also be testing the brine suitability to create a viable lithium product using the EcoSolve DLE method, as well as other DLE process systems that are already well developed like Lilac Technology System, which is being used at Lake Resources, among others. This is a very exciting opportunity for the company and its shareholders. All going well, we expect to have a resource on at least one of the projects before the option period is complete, as well as bench scale DLE test work. 